and they wanna they wanna up that a bit. I don't think they have a chance to make it to the upper bracket anymore. What do you say, Fogged? Hello. Do they not have a chance anymore? Or? I think some weird old magic needs to happen. Who are their other them, uh, series that, that they have left? I'll check it really quick. Empire is. If left they if with. they because if they don't like if they win the rest of their games because that's actually at the moment they are nine losses they're six and nine because they lost the previous game and I think if you have nine losses you're automatically in the bottom. Yeah, they're half. in the lower bracket, guaranteed. Yep. So they're already in the lower bracket, but obviously they still want to get some extra points on the board because the higher you are in the on the lower well on the lower bracket teams, the easier your opponents will be. Yeah. Theoretically, of course. Um, they're changing it up right away. Looking at yeah. this draft, they've been looking, they've been prioritizing the Kunk and the Shadow Demon a lot, but Earthshaker and Lich have also been highly favored by most of these teams. Both these heroes do similar kind of things that, when, at least we've been all talking downstairs a bit, is, you know, Earthshaker can pull waves back, but Lich can do the same. So now they have two ways to pull waves back and make sure that they have good lanes. So we talked yeah. about wanting to emphasize on lanes. These two are definitely good adjustments on that. And the Lich versus the Slardar is always great because you get the Ice Armor to deal with the Corrosive Haze. And also good for Shadow Shaman because dealing with the ward you can put on the tower. You don't have to worry. Crazy amount about that push. But it's a Slardar opening from Liquid. They have never done this before in the history of Dota 2 at TI7. Have they? No, I don't think they have. I, I don't think that they've I done it. I don't think they did it with an opener, but I know that they played the Slardar earlier, I want to say. I Somebody else did it? No, not, they did not. I, they did not, I think. I think this is their first Slardar game of uh, of the tournament. Then it was OG who ran the Slardar in the first two. I definitely All saw right. somebody pick it earlier. <laughs> so yeah, their first Slardar coming out. You like it? It's different. Okay. I mean, it's a different kind of approach, of course. <laughs> That's a very polite I don't... way of saying it. <laughs> yeah, the, the Earthshaker... GH's IO is taken out, GH's Coddle is taken yes. out, his the Earthshaker got picked first by Empire. Yeah. Decent substitute can be the Slardar for that rot for the same kind of rotations and pressure. True. Haven't seen GH played so much, but or lately, because that hero's been falling out of favor, of course, with the new rising force. And why would you want to have a Slardar if you can have the Earthshaker? Exactly. Alright, we got some offlaners banned out by Empire, so they are indeed expecting that Slardar to to not be an offlaner. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what Mind Control uh, ends up playing. Well, he can still play the Slardar, of course. Yeah. If we really need it. Uh, we also have uh, the Rager, Razor and Nature's Prophet removed from the pool. Uh, another offlaner. I'm thinking why the Razor and the Nature's Prophet. I'm thinking what heroes they might want here. So because they want to go for some type of push strategy, it seems like, for me, from Liquid, with the Shadow Shaman already being picked up. Do they want... I don't think that they would want something like a Dragon Knight. Okay, they're going for the Venom. They're doing a push strat. <laughs> All right. Because uh, Empire actually hasn't played Nature's Prophet at all. Well, yeah, they, once or twice. Twice, Ghostic actually. Ghostic played it. Yeah, I remember Ghostic playing it once. He was playing first Infamous, I believe it Infamous was. Infamous, they yeah. won. And first was EG, they tried it as well, but they lost. Yeah. Ten seconds remaining. But it's not really one of their typical heroes. So it had to have some alter alternative motive there as well. Let's see what uh, Empire goes for here then. Securing lanes, step number one. But now with the Venomance already picked up, you also know that... There's going to be aggression coming out. There's going to be push coming out. So they need yeah. some counter push there as well. Yeah, some some deep push heroes would be nice. I'm trying to think what I I've never really seen like Miposh could play like this type of lich hero. So this is going to be a little bit different. I usually see him being more like the aggressive type of rotator. This is more of a static hero that wants to sit in a lane and secure it. So he it's a little bit of a different approach from what we're used to seeing from Empire. Yeah, and I guess he is playing that, and the Shaker will will go for Roger. Yeah, unless Ghostic plays the Shaker. Which we don't really know exactly where it's gonna be just yet. No, the previous game for the Shaker, they have. it was Roger, like you, like you okay. said. So you're right with my Pushka going for Lich. Okay. Interesting. They are taking their time to think about what they want to go for next. Though, what what role do you want to want to pick up here? When you pick up your three, you want to pick up your off lane. Yep, more than likely. You don't want to reveal your mid or your carry just yet. Eh, you, you you can probably reveal your carry because they revealed the Venomancer, and you know the Shadow Shaman and Slaughter are more than likely the supports. And maybe you want to wait with your off laner so that you know what type of matchup you'll have with the safe laner of the enemy team. Mm. It's all mind games. Yeah. What will they go for? They are actually taking a long time to think about this one. I feel like they're going to just pick like an anti mage or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> some desperate, desperate times. Like, what's the what's Resolution's best hero? Yeah. Will they go for Morph? Because like? most of those. Mm, Morph could be. Possible. Shadow Shaman's decent at with the lockdown, but oh yeah, it's we've seen a couple of the rise in the morphling a bit here, especially with Lich. It's an old school combo. The Lich morphling, you guarantee a lane and you guarantee your morphling free farm. Could be a hero we see coming out. 
taking a lot of time though. They're really considering yeah. what they want to do because they don't want to pick the normal kind of melee carries. They go for their offlaner. Okay. They get themselves Legion Commander. They saw how it worked for mind control. Let's see if Ghosty can uh, repeat that because that was a pretty good Legion Commander that mind control showed us previous game. Yeah. Legion versus Venno can be super nice, of course. You can always purge off the Gale. You can purge off Corrosive off your teammates. And if, yeah, remove the Hex or the Shackle. Legion just a... No, Legion, that, that press the attack ability is just, just really strong. And Shadow Shaman is free food. Yeah. Always able to get pretty good duels. And the lane should be able to get a decent amount, especially if the Lich starts there. Since he is on Dire, the mid lane will already meet decent equilibrium for him. And they have Shaker. Yeah, so they have, a, they have a good way already. This is definitely a better approach, at least what we were saying, what they should adjust to. These are three way stronger laners than, you know, Kunkka, Shadow Demon, Mirana kind of setup that they had. Or Kunkka, Kunkka, Shadow Demon, Clockwork, the first three that they did end up drafting in the last game. Well, they could also take an into their bonus time to decide what they want to do for Because they now know that their, their core is going to go up against Legion Commander, possible Lich lane. Which yeah. is a tricky lane, as you just pointed out. This is a strong lane. They you might think just they're, leave they're... the Venno there. Yeah? I think that's what they might just do, yeah. Venno safe lane. Yeah, because he's not a hero who's... I mean, it sucks to get your farm crippled a bit, but... He's going to be okay anyway. Yeah, he's not like a super hard carry that just is like, miserable because you're getting your laning versus a Lich. At least you're going to be able to get something out of it anyway because of your Venno. Well, they're taking their time as well. Yeah. What could they be considering here? Revealing... Which one do they want to reveal? Do they want to reveal Mind Controls or Miracles? So uh, they were, Matu they're actually going Necrophos. to be doing Matu Necro, so it's a bit of a change. Of, maybe we see that offlane Necro, and, or offlane Venno that we've seen some teams do, yeah. and they go for some type of like try pressure to force the Lich away, and they put Necro in a 1v1 kind of sacked matchup versus the LC Lich. Do you think there's also a little bit of a deny pick, perhaps? Because I felt like it, w it might be fitting in Empire's lineup as well, and they have played Rezo and the Necrophos. As well. It could be. I know Liquid just, they really love this hero yes. though. And especially like, versus Legion Commander. Because just the nature of the lane makes it super hard to the Legion to actually punish the Necro. Because you're always getting ticked down from Heartstopper. There's a bit of sustain as well. But I'm still seeing push strategy from Liquid. This is a healing core that they can group up around with the Shadow D uh, Shadow Shaman and Venomancer and just take towers with that sustain. There's a Weaver. Weaver. So that's going to be, that looks like it'll be Rezo's hero and Mm -hmm. This hero, I've, I'm not crazy about the Weaver as the core, only in situational kind of things where you're versus a like uh, like a Bat Rider or something, a hero that he's just super good at in the lane. This time around, he doesn't really have things that he's naturally incredible versus. And there's already a Slaughter. And a Shadow Shaman. And a Shadow Shaman. Lots of Disable and Corrosive Haze, of course, to reveal him. And Necrophose is actually pretty good as well because you're going to die before you can get your time lapse off if yeah, you do take if, enough damage. Sorry. Exactly, yeah. it's a very good point. So... That's a very confident pick for Empire to pick that into all of that. Yeah, I'm thinking if maybe they're going to switch the lanes up around a lot. If they're going to maybe do some like Lich Weaver kind of dual aggro, they put the Legion elsewhere, like safe lane or something along those lines. They definitely have a lot of variety that they can do with their draft right now, at least in the laning positions. Because if they, if they lose their lanes, they're, they're basically done for. Yeah. At the That's, moment. You know, we've been seeing that a lot in this tournament too. People, they have a draft and... It's something that I was talking with PPD actually about is a way to avoid putting yourself in a trap since the team that has last pick always gets the counter pick. The thing that you can do is you can switch lanes up and that gives yeah. you that kind of event that semi... You have like an advantage going in and out of not having last pick. You can always just change the lanes up and then you don't get that bad natured matchup that comes out from drafts. Well, fortunately for Liquid, they have last pick uh, this time and... They already, I feel like their draft is already looking like the stronger one. Yes, and Empire is down to the wire with their time, so they don't really have a whole lot of time to think. think. There we go. Ember Spirit it is. Ember. I feel like it's, there's so much pressure on that Earthshaker to he do the, well. He is their only real team fight. And they have Chain Frost, of course, so when Shaker and Lich get lit six, they have good team fight, but... They have to get to that point first. And the thing that we were talking about that they should probably set up for, because Liquid looks like a push draft, is some D-push, and they have... Only Legion Commander and Fissure for real deep push. So I'm a bit, I'm definitely a bit concerned for them coming out here. Liquid with eight seconds now. What do they want to finalize? Do they want a strong, beefy frontliner like something like Lone Druid? Uh, they actually just Volker. go for the Miracle Invoker. Miracle Volker. Invoker. Last game oh, of the day, why not? Man, that is scary. That's the, whew, that's the hero where it's like, okay, now we have some backup in case things don't 
don't go well with our push lineup, we have the late game because of Miracle Invoker. And it's a pretty good matchup versus the Ember Spirit. If he wants to go for... If he wants, he can go for the early Tornado build to always remove the Flame Guard. Or he can just lane it naturally since GH will do GH things and sit yeah. on that mid lane to give Miracle the best kind of matchup possible. Yeah. Now, the bright side for Empire... And you have to correct me if I'm wrong. You got an Ember Spirit, a Weaver, and a Legion Commander. All of those three heroes are fine by themselves. And they have crazy looking cosmetics. They do. They are. <laughs> the bottom side looks insane right now. All the particles. <laughs> so many particle effects. Yeah, they are pretty strong, reliant, self reliant laners. But they should probably still put like. Thing because they have like Shaker and Lich as their Yeah, they can, they can rotate so. around though now. Yeah. They have maybe more freedom to, to actually help them win the lanes where it's necessary. Which lane do you think have their, has their focus? Empire? Uh, yeah, well, where are they going to try to shut down Liquid I would, most? I would imagine the Lich going top, or Lich going bottom with the Legion Commander. Just It's not really like to shut down the Necro, it's just to give the Legion a really good start, because our Shaker will probably play around mid, and we'll have like the Weaver versus Weaver in a 1v1 top. It seems like that'll be the case, and just like these dual lanes. Roger's probably going to do what GH does with the Shaker. Play around the safe lane and play around the mid lane constantly. Just, just follow GH pretty much as that Shaker. <laughs> Catches him with the Sunstrike. Yeah, a little bit of harassment. I why not? <laughs> He's All in right. the base anyway. It's, pretty, it's a free Sunstrike. Free Sunstrike. All right, let's uh, let's see who's who's on what. Uh, Roger, we'll play the Earthshaker this uh, this game. We're gonna see Mapashka on the Lich, who was out already up and early to play some words in enemy jungle. Ghostic will play offline Legion Commander. Uh, Fn on his Ember Spirit, and that means it is Resolution on the top lane on the Weaver. Team Liquid has got Miracle on the Invoker. Who else? Signature hero for him. We got ourselves Mind Control playing the offlane Venomancer. And it looks like we're going to have a trial lane with Matuma Man on the Necrophose. GH on a Slardar Boots first. And Kuroki on the Shadow Shaman. And they are going towards the high ground. I mean, Empire's level 1 is pretty pretty poop with the Flitch. They are going to have 4 heroes though. And a Fissure could definitely change that if they get trapped up. Yeah, and it's... Uh, Four versus three. GH uh, does get locked out. He has got a crush available. They can Let's skill can Nova if they it. want to really commit for the kill, but uh, Maposka doesn't really want to. No, doesn't want to. Need to have wants to have to sacrifice. Yeah, I've seen you know like a couple teams. I saw a Pilai die actually skilled the nuke to go for the first blood, but then the lane suffered because of it. So they yeah they're thinking about lanes. That's what we were talking about. That's exactly what they're doing. So Lich is starting bottom with that Legion. Or Shaker sitting mid because he's probably expecting GH to be there. Give him a decent start. Yep. On this Ember Spirit. Let's see and if it's going to be successful. You see Roger just looking for a Fisher to uh, maybe annoy Miracle a bit. I don't know, they don't really have the power to kill him just yet, but just annoy would be uh, already enough. And I'm going to be uh, watching a lot of this. through his region. I'm going to be watching a lot of this top matchup. This the the top my match control up. versus Matu 1v1. I want to watch the top matchup, but there's <laughs> a lot happening here on this, uh, on this mid lane. With Roger coming by, GH being here. Courier coming by, GH. He wanted Ooh, it. <laughs> he wanted that. He, he really did. All right, this top matchup, Mind Control Resolution. Why is that the fun matchup to watch? It's just a 1v1 matchup. Everything else is dual lanes. I like I like myself my 1v1s. You like 1v1s over dual lanes? Yeah, especially in this one, because it's a pretty hard lane for the Venno to win. He can, he can harass a lot, of course, but once he gets levels, the Venno can do better. But early on, Weaver, of course, with the higher base damage by a very good margin, can do quite well. Gale comes out, eating some harassment on Rezo, but he's got a good amount of regen and a magic wand. My control though, no mercy, keeps that right click going. Yeah, we also uh, follow this. I, uh, I I really like that DH is playing Slaughter against an Earthshaker, so he is, at the moment, the person I think plays most Earthshakers in uh, a TA7 here. And he's doing it really well as well, but if you are really good at a hero, you also know what to do against it. But Tuma Man in a lot of trouble. This dual um, lane. Are they gonna They've got yeah. another Frost Ooh. Pass in a second. Ooh, yeah, they're fine, they're fine. Close though, very close. Yeah. This is what we were talking about, the dual offlane. The Lich Legion Commander can put a lot of pressure out, especially with Ghost of Gong for that Orb of Venom build. Yeah, and um, especially with Shadow Shaman just not being there right now. Yeah, he can't really guarantee the lane very well as a Shadow Shaman. You, maybe get walked up, you walk up, you get nuked. And getting some extra le giving some extra levels to Matuma Man as well, just making sure that he's not there to soak any up, any experience. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's coming back. 
look at that. Return of the Shadow Shaman. I'm gonna start trying to get starts. some nukes out. He yeah, did he... find one of the D wards, so he's gonna have a pull open, but he doesn't have the hard camp. No. He has an arcane rune though. That's only once. Happy that's, time. That's nice, only 57. 57 mana for 140 damage. Value. Definitely. And uh, yeah, again, GH is just chasing Roger across the map. Like, not even kidding. He's just everywhere where that Earthshaker is. It's uh, it's really fun to see. He knows what type of impact an Earthshaker has to have and how he needs to come from the sides with the Fishers as a surprise Fisher. But um, well, GH not letting that happen for the moment. So Rezo doing very well in the last hit department top, but not very healthy. Actually Ooh. has to buy a bottle from the side in order to try to have enough sustain to deal with this Venomancer. Yeah, Venom has a salve, so he's fine. Yeah. He does not have any mana, but he does have a Bassy Ring, so get some uh, some of that back. Hey, Roger, with, uh, with the Fisher for Miracle. Level 4 Invoker. Yeah. That's, not, that's not good. Then the pink comes out. They know he's there. Yeah, and FN's too low for them to try to go for that aggression. There's a strike available as well. Yeah. Careful. He also, Miracle went for an early point in Wax just in case. Not only to remove use Tornado to remove the uh, Flame Guard, but also, of course, Ghost Walk in case of too much aggression. But lane's going pretty decent for Empire, as we kind of expected with the, the nature of their hero picks with the Lich and with the Legion Commander, which is very strong. Woo! Did he just get Sunstriked on the rune? Yeah! Did it hit him? It did! Oh, Jesus. How low was he? He I was saw very the, low! I saw the... I didn't hear anything, I just saw the little dot on the map. And I, I saw the, the ping, and it's like, it's gonna happen. Oh my god, that's, uh, such, a, that's such a big play there. That was uh, that was a bottle completely empty again by the Weaver. He just got it full filled up. Yeah. But uh, I guess he got the rune to fill it up with the two charges. Oh damn it! No, we missed. I missed the first blood. Lich dies on the bottom lane. I had to happen at some point, I guess. Mid lane miracle is getting some aggression on him too. The Fissure blocks him, but removing the flame guard from FN, they don't have the damage now. No. Sorry, I was oh. looking at top lane. I missed that Lich kill too. Yeah. I think GH just closed the distance because Kuroki didn't end up using shackles. It looks like they just got a good angle. Yeah. Didn't see if it was even a smoke or anything. Yeah, we were too busy watching uh, Resolution getting sunstruck and... Yeah, I'm just... I, I, I told you I was going to look at this top match. Yeah, here, yeah, I mean, I, I don't blame you. It, it, uh, it, it, is, it is fun. Uh, it should definitely be looking If better. I like watching one of ones, I normally like watching the mid lane over anything. Mm -hmm. That's a different, a different game of Dota. Yeah. My control does get Fissure blocked up here, doesn't have stick charges, gets the Gale on Rezo and some right clicks. It's a lot of damage. The level 3 Gale with 2 two in the Poison Sting. Rezo oh. looks like he's going to take down here. He's, he's got stick charges. Oh, he's got range drop. <gasps> oh, oh my god. <laughs> TP's back Close. just in case. I mean, that's a lot of damage, yeah. Yeah, the range drop ends up saving him, though, because it does block the instances of damage from the Gale since it reaches over the threshold now on that third point of Gale. I'm a Tuma man having a bit of a 1v1 with me push. I gotta be careful. It's a lot of nuke damage coming out from uh, even even if it's just a level one frost blast. Yeah, you know my control died, but yeah. Rezo had to TP back to base, so he has to journey all the way back. And my control is actually pretty happy with this. He's gonna have the same amount of experience as him anyway, because he gets there much faster. Carol, this bottom lane is pretty interesting as well. Uh, but Matuma Man is able to just uh, farm away, and I say that, and I do know that he is quite behind compared to, for example, Miracle. Oh, hello. He's just turning this around. He's yeah, he's, he's got the 10 stick charges. Ghost Shroud with 10 stick charges just so much healing. It's absurd how much it really Ghost does. Ghost Shroud looks so really, really scary with a Frost Blast on the board, though. Fine. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, he's 100% he's healthy again. Meantime, mid lane. Miracle, not so healthy, uh -oh, but... Oh, Roger could be in some trouble here, yep. no? They don't have any mana, though, but the right click damage. Oh, he gets a hit off. Oh, it doesn't matter. He just still dies. Miracle gets the gets the kill, and... Shrine is alive. Shrine. Shrine dead. Very fortunate for Miracle there. Getting kills as Invoker early on is the best. You know, you you got double, double no build, you're able to get your Midas that much faster. Yeah. Um, by the way, it happened again up top. Rezo just got dropped really low by a Gale or two, and uh, actually by the, the Poison, Poison Nova. Nova. Time. But uh, this uh, this Weaver, Weaver, Venomancer, is doing just fine. Weaver is... Uh, that was a Sunstrike based off a ward. That was just GH placing a ward, and he's able to get a perfect sunstrike on him on the map. Dead Lich. He was just walking back to base. 
That's a lich teleporting back bottom. There is FN. a slaughter close by. FN's rotating now, though. That's a lot of magic damage coming in. Enough to be able to bring down Matu for sure. But he does have a lot of stick charges. Let's see if it's able to, enough to bring him up. He knows he was in trouble. He's taking so much damage, though, from that flame guard. Nice crush. A little bit too late to make something happen. Kuroki in a bit of trouble. In the meantime, top lane has a fight. But we're following this one. Everything happened at the same time. First jewel of the day. Ghost it gets a 10 damage in the meantime. Top lane. Resolution gets some revenge, getting mind control there, as uh, Earthshaker seemingly died there as well. Where did Earthshaker die? Did Same place. The Venomancer committed on him with Gale, and Rezo was just able to clean up. Can only follow one fight at the same time. Yeah, it's still it's. I mean, it's super even. There's battles going yep. on everywhere. The big gain is that GH is halfway to a blink dagger already on the slaughter, <laughs> but Necro is of course suffering as you mentioned in that bottom lane a bit because of it. As expected though, you know it's, yeah. a, it's a lich dual lane. It's it's what's gonna happen when you're playing versus two of the stronger dual laners. This is already a very different game from what Empire played in the first game though. Yeah, this is this is very even. And now we already know that Empire had a fairly uh, greedy lineup where they fo had to had to win the lanes. Uh oh, Kuroki bottom. Might be oh. a culprit here. Uh, we're following Miracle though. Miracle, Miracle is in a bit of trouble. He has a jewel available as well. FN look has got two remnants available, but Kuroki teleporting in with zero mana. <laughs> just TP's. And he's yeah, just, that's a flex TP right there. He's just like, come at me. Yeah, he, someone's TPing in. Yeah. The fear, the fear teleport. Do you think Empire has won their lanes uh, enough, or played even enough to have uh, the right top. results? Mind control gets the gets gale. The gale on him too. That's a lot of Rezo's dead. Yeah, very dead. Sunstrike, Sunstrike no time lapse available. I I don't know if Empire won their lanes enough. It's just it's not like their draft is like atrocious or anything. Need to win super hard, but the lanes Miracle. are good. Miracle dead. Yeah. Or oh, is he crush. GH with the crush in time and the jewel as well? That's gonna be GH FN's dead. Got but chance. Miracle is still available. For living, is it living, not living, indeed not living, and just like that Earthshaker. But GH lives with 20 HP, and Matu's able to get a nice kill, which he really needs since he's gotten shut down in that bottom lane a bit. How did GH live? Didn't he get jeweled? Yeah, he lived. How did he live there? Just, hank just hanky enough. Gee, I was not expecting <laughs> him to live, not gonna lie. No, me either. Just tanky enough. But yeah, Empire, I mean, the, the lanes are fine. The lanes are looking good. They're, yeah. at, a, they're at a pretty decent margin. They're winning by a little bit. So they just killed Miracle. It's fine. That's yeah. big. It's, everything is okay right now for both sides. Both of both them are probably feeling pretty satisfied with the way it went. No clear winner. Empire mm. with a very slight margin, I would say. Yeah, less than 1k gold ahead as well. Yeah. As uh, Kuro dies to the hands of FN and Roger. FN is level 9 at the moment, so he's doing, he's doing really well uh, right now. Yeah, a little bit low on levels on the on the old supports there with Shadow Shaman as well as Urshager sitting still on level four, but that's fine. That's to be expected. Yeah, they've been running around. Kuroki's just been kind of running around. He's he's this super hard five Shadow Shaman right now at this point in the game until GH gets that blink. Then he can try to get his arcane boots and be more useful. But I mean, GH is going to have super early blink dagger. They're even giving him the lane now. Matu's jungling. GH is. Like we were saying, halfway toward that blink. He picked up a couple more small items uh, in between there, but still gonna have a very good timing on that one. Yeah, he wants to have that level six as well. Top Couldn't lane. Have vision on the on the weave or speak of the devil. He's gonna try to teleport out. Should be able to. So the the gale damage, just mind it's control cute. skill build, is punishing him. And he doesn't so have any much. raindrops anymore. Yeah. He gives him the he gives him the little parentheses smiley face. <laughs> I mean it's it's ridiculous how much damage and my control also now has a sentry down, so every time he does Sukuchi, there's a lot of pressure and yeah, my Rezo doesn't even want to go back up there since he keeps getting forced oh, back. Four people jumping up a miracle. He goes invisible, still gets jeweled because the sentry ward was oh, but pretty the damage. Close, and he wins! He wins the jewel! Legion Commander is about to die because Liquid is there to back their buddy. Oh up. my god, and GH the raindrop saves him too. The bounce oh. is just perfect to not get anyone killed. Oh my god, Liquid. That's a little bit lucky on the Chain Frost there, yes. but the stun coming in from GH on top of him having level 6 with the Corrosive. And it's a Shrine! Just enough damage. And 4 man Shrine! Hey! Value. Easy. They can They can transition... Nah, I'm not sure if they can transition this into a push mid. They're pressuring top a bit, at least for my control there. Yep. My control. My control is very healthy though, and he's yeah. he's pretty pretty tanky. He's got the backup now too from GH, who went uh, went top lane. GH is again on the hunt for that Earthshaker. He gets it with the crush. 
Corrosive Haze is there as well. And Fen's coming though. Up. Empire's gonna pincer this a bit. Yeah, he goes on the edge. The Fisher is uh, not gonna help him. He's gonna try to get himself out. Jewel in the meantime on mind control, and that's where Fn is going to as well. And that means that GH lives. Unfortunately though, mind control dies. And the Sunstrike? Oh, jewel. he gets him! <gasps> he was. He was corrosive hazed and he was trying to like juke back and forth to not get sunstruck and he gets hit anyway. Oh my god, Miracle oh. actually predicting that movement. With the chat wheel. Meantime, bottom lane. There's a lot of action in this game. Kuroki can't get out of that one. Resolution with a kill. Poor Kuro. He's just trying to get a little bit of a little bit of farming levels, Rezo. How do you how do you do that to your to your boy? At least he's got the tome on the courier, so he's able to use that. Oh he actually used it already. Almost six non Kuro then at least. So, uh, so a lot of fights across the map. Which yeah. team is that favoring? All the skirmishes. Oh. Now at this point, it's a bit of liquid. I heard it! I heard it! That was a sun strike. He Again. got him top. Yeah. He got him top. The Venom Gale. But we were going up. bottom because bottom. There's an Echo Slam up on Matuma Man uh, with Matuma Man still getting his Reaper Scythe out. Is this Earthshaker? One more hit will kill him off. Kuroki gets that kill, or at least make sure that that Earthshaker dies. But FN comes in to take his life. So these skirmishes, I would say it's benefiting. I don't know. It's it's really it's super close to be honest. It's I mean it's 11 to 10. The gold lead is like almost negligible at this point. So it's I don't know. It's it's honestly like too close to tell. Oh, really. Teleport in mind control. He wants to hide. He wants to run, but he can't do either. This duel is gonna happen, and the damage oh will go. Oh, sun strike. This time they are splitting the damage a bit. He may still die. To yes, the he's taking a lot of damage. But they have pressed attack. Okay. Yeah, press attack will save the day. So the, the the one concern is that Liquid is my control is not really farming too much. He's causing a lot of pressure and everything, but he's at 2800 net worth. But on the contrary, it's GH who's making up for that farm. Yeah. 200 gold from Blink Dagger. So that's that's the thing is that Liquid will have that clear initiator a little bit earlier than Empire does. Empire will have the Blink Legion Commander soon, but that's not a team fight. That's a pick up. Hey. Another Sun Strike. Ooh, I'm not fortunate. The Sun Strike Miracle actually got himself out of a sick situation with uh, Rezo coming in. Oh, with a double damage rune as well. He knows Miracle is still there. Uh, and he walks away. They're looking for Rezo. They're thinking that he went this way. GH yeah. waiting for him. But no, there's nothing. There's nothing. Mir or is he still going there? Almost got his Agonims finished up on Invoker. He's still going there. He's, he's got to be careful, he's, though. Nah, he's fine. Thinking about where he wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's fine. Fine indeed. What kind of happening here? And it looks like Liquid is gonna put their attention on the top tier one tower. Don't know if they even need to expend the Serpent Wards here, since the tower is so low. They might be able to just use it elsewhere to try to take another tier one. That bottom one, maybe. Or... Oh, we'll see. We'll see Kuroki's very liberal when he uses the ultis when he's playing these hard fives, be it Crystal Maiden, Shadow Shaman, anything along there. He might even just throw it down for a kill. But you can't save him for the, the perfect timing. No. There's never a perfect time. GH has blink once the courier delivers it now. It's finished up. Does he want to wait for that? He is very impatient. He just wants to jump on Rezo, it seems. But uh, Rezo is playing it fairly safe with positioning there. Don't know if he's going to expect a blink this early. I sure wouldn't. Uh, 15 minutes on the support slaughter. He's just been running around. It's That's super early. Well, he does have the backup of his team, though. Roger's there as well as... Whoa, they just really want to jump on mind control. This Lich Ultimate bouncing around. Poison Nova does come out and does take out that Aveno. Crush in. That is Rezo. Sunstrike coming out as well. There's a time lapse. Not available. But he does have the pressed attack and enough stick charges. Matu just was... just just shy of range of being able to get the Reaper Scythe off there. But now Agonims is finished up on Miracle at a very early timing. So although the Venomancer is suffering, like we said, Slaughter Blink and the Invoker is super farmed. Yeah, and the Venomancer still does his job with applying pressure and he still gets his... As long as the Venomancer gets his ult off in a fight, and, a, and his Gale in this case as well, of course, level 4, he's still doing a lot. Yeah. Maybe wanting to slow down a little bit on the deaths, though. Having yeah, 5 has, I mean, that, has that core Venom. <laughs> I mean, sure. Let's, let's do bit. that as well. Yeah. That is uh, that is a good plan. Uh, GH spots Roger. Yeah. That is an easy one. I mean, as far as Empire goes, Roger is one that you know is is one of the best finds that like could got there with a four-man smoke. Yeah, I mean, this Earthshaker is zero six and eight. He's 
their big initiator, like we said, they need that for the blink. They're actually able to, with the Corrosive Haze and with the Shadow Shaman, this was the first two picks that they did. The beauty of it is it gives them a lot of ways, a lot of potential to take the Roche. Mind Control, yeah, he's dead. tanking the gank. The bugs, though, go into the pit and they actually see that Roche is being sieged. Yep. But maybe with the bug is, bug is helping a little bit more. <laughs> uh, they just have to be careful because the wards are down, so they don't want to fight in the pit, but at the same time, Liquid, they don't want to be caught in the pit. Yeah, sh sure, Shaker respawned as well. Yeah, it's Venomancer won't be here this fight. Not yet. Ten seconds for him, for him to teleport to the shrine. He can't teleport to the shrine. Four bugs helping out. The wards are still attacking, of course. Looks like Liquid's best at backing up. Yeah. Both teams have a chance to take it with the Weaver with uh, with the Blightstone. They have it. They can mind attacking it perhaps a bit, but. Yeah, with the swarm, they have pretty decent one. Mid lane, they look like they're trying to go for FN here. Ah, they smoke. He doesn't push up far enough. Double. Maybe they're gonna go for the rune here, the rune bait. Yeah, yeah the looks rune like bait. It. There you go. Two Rush, Rush, and the, the double damage rune is not even taken. But he didn't really take a lot of damage in the duration of that Reaper Scythe, and that means Reaper Scythe is down. Ghostic with the instant press the attack yeah. on the stun. Really nicely done. FN lives. And it's a Necro ult expended, and now the smoke comes out. The blink is ready, like we said, on the Legion Commander, so he can go for those pickoffs. And they have good damage with the with the Chain Frost and with Ember Spirit having boots of travel. He can always be involved wherever they want to go. Top oh, lane looks like the culprit. Yeah, Fisher coming out can't escape that one. He comes at Fen. Oh, there was actually a little, uh, little. Oh no! Oh, my control TP is into his death. <laughs> yeah, he does get his ult off, but it doesn't matter. Oh, the Sunstrike still hits him. Ghosted though, he's taking a lot of damage here. That is Ghostic still down, Miracle. He has to be careful, doesn't have any mana left, and the Echo Slam comes out, that's FN on a mega kill streak, and it's not over just yet. Four dead on the side of Liquid, and all of a sudden Empire is pulling up ahead with this one. Big they, moves for them. Whoo! They that's, went in one by one. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, Liquid coming in one by one, not having much mana on Miracle after the combo. And now Weaver has the Diffusal Blade picked up, for, so the counter to the Necro Ghost Shroud is already online. And... It's looking a little bit scary now for Liquid. They do have this super farmed invoker, which we can never never sleep on whatsoever. But Empire definitely finds himself a good surge of momentum. Yeah, looking good. Tier 1 towers drop, half the tools gotten. They've got some nice wards around the Roche pit. What yeah. more can you wish for? Almost gonna have the Oh, they already have the Shaker Blink actually. Okay, now Wait. Empire's in a really good spot here. They yeah. can keep this aggression going for sure with all the items. They're getting like everything picked up at the same time. They tried to go for mid for li on Liquid onto FN. But too quick with the Remnant. Can they do more to uh, slow Liquid's farming down? Because they're still taking quite a bit of uh, a farm. And I think that's the, the scariest point because... I mean, they're still, they're still an invoker from Miracle on the map. I think waiting for the Echo Slam could be a possibility. If not, they're going to have to wait for the Leech Commander to find pickoffs on the sides. I don't think they want to go commit too deep still, because there is still, uh, you know, the Aghanim's Invoker can turn things around. They, we haven't seen, like, a big team fight come out from them. We've just seen, like, small engagements and pickoffs, not this big five man. Oh, careful here, Empire. There's everybody there. There's a scan from the Radiant team, trying to see if there's people behind. It didn't actually scan anybody, but there's a lot of people close by. This is a 5 versus 5 if this turns into a fight. Matuma Man gets scouted out. There was a ping. Ghostic knows he's there. The Fisher comes out. The Siege Creep scouts him out indeed. In the meantime, the Crush. They get Rezo. Who time laps out of there. And instant press the attack instant again. Press attack again. Looking for a target. Oh, Bylich. All right. <laughs> That's an easy one. Let's see if FN is secure. GH waiting for the blink in. Looking for it still. Roger is close by though. He has to be careful. Oh, blink oh, forward. Jesus. He just jumps up on the high ground there. <laughs> no fear. He has the rest of his team around there. But yeah, the newly fresh to, freshly picked up Dagon there by uh, Matamba Man just bursting the Lich instantly. Yeah, they didn't commit the wards from the Shadow Shaman. Huh? Yeah, but so yeah, yeah, Kuroki's the very liberal with those type of ulti yeah, usage. He's said. the hard five. Well, that could have, been, uh, could have been a lot worse for both teams, actually. That was a very uh, tense situation. But looks like the teams are going back to farming. Rezo still alive, has got the time lapse up again as well. And on the top lane, it's also FN just uh, happily farming away. Well, he was happily farming away. Now he's uh, he's popped the strand. Mm -hmm. Going for that Lincoln Sphere. They're probably both gonna want it on the Weaver and the Ember Spirit. And let's see this. Re yeah, Rezo's queuing it up as well, trying to deal with that Necro Reaper Scythe. Oh, smoke gets broken by Roger. He yep. has to put down a Sentry because he doesn't know what the Ooh. hell happened. And oh Ooh, my goodness! What?
links about. Links everywhere. <laughs> Nobody gets Spells anybody, anybody apart from uh, Mepashka. Mepashka is a... Uh, Oh, he's still able to throw out his ultimate, but it doesn't bounce around. He's not close enough. In the meantime, the jewel catches Kuroki, the shackle. Oh, he's alive! Just like Kuroki is alive, and the same cannot oh. be said for Ghost and Kuroki. Also not alive anymore, though. Double kill going out for Team Liquid as FN gets himself a kill. And um, that was actually on the other side of the fight. I followed the wrong part. Rezo getting tagged up. There's a blink available in six seconds. Mind Control is close by as well, and they still want to do this. Can they get the crush out? They should be able to. Yes, they can. And they can see him as well. Mind Control still not in range for the Gale, however. Maybe now. No. Uh, <laughs> it really wasn't. You saw I wanted to take a shortcut. Can he do it now? He's got yeah, it. Yeah, he got it. There is a time lapse, but there's also a shrine. So yeah, Rezo is okay. Three for two, though. And Miracle did end up dropping in that fight. Fight oh. got split up a lot. I think yes. Liquid comes out a bit ahead of that one there, though. Even with Miracle dropping, that's the highest net worth on the map. Yeah, it's it's still like a little because they lost FN and it was a lot of time spent while Liquid were able to get a little bit more out of just a tiny bit more out of it. It was very, very close. It was just the the wraparound there from Empire though was pretty damn nice while the yeah. fight was happening up there. I think where you were looking at uh, uh, yeah, I was looking at the complete wrong side. <laughs> Weaver and Ember Spirit were able to isolate Miracle and with the defusal and also uh resolutions carrying dust, so Miracle wasn't able to ghost walk and save himself. Very nicely done indeed. It means uh, Liquid holds their uh, their territory a bit here in their, their own jungle. Despite Empire being ahead on gold a moment ago, Liquid's back. It's yeah. back to being even. It's it's a pretty dead even game. Yeah. Oh, it's like even gold experience across the board. Even the map control mostly. Just that one bottom tier one that Empire hands may be giving them a bit more map control. But it's at 80 HP. It might actually just die to the... Force Spirit that Miracle pushes out. Lineup wise, who do you favor later on in this game? It's hard to favor uh, to factor out Invoker. I would say yeah. Empire because they have like a tricor, but Invoker can always cause all kinds of miracles. I would like to say. We saw some free gold. That is extra damage for Ghostic. They do drop uh, the Lich Ultimate for that as well. The oh, GH. He has to be careful. The high ground vision they have there. Yeah, it's making all the difference. GH is going to try to teleport out of there. Mind Control still gets built up, and GH cannot teleport out. Echo Slam, Mind Control, please be careful. Roger is the target for him, though. But it is Mind Control that dies first. Perhaps Roger will join him in the grave. Indeed, he does. Double kill from Atuma Man, who's just able to stand here and just spam out his spells. Resolution, he has a time walk and flee. Time lapse and flee, rather. Invoker's looking for the Sun Strike. Throws it out. Oh, God. He should into that. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> It wouldn't have been enough damage entirely. It would have been 537. But so it, would have be, it would have been hype. It would have been hype. That's true. Two for two? Uh, still, I feel like that favors uh, Empire a bit because, I mean, they were just... Actually, it was two for three because they got that bonus damage from that as well. Where is, what is Lich doing? What is he dying to? Whoa, Matu's in a very deep spot right now. He wants to hold the Ghost Shroud as long as possible and he gets in a safe enough place. Yeah, yeah that one was a bit benefited for Empire. Just a tiny bit. But these scrappy engagements, it's very close. And now it's secondary, or no, it's still same rush, that's right. The first one never died. <laughs> the first one never died, but the scan yeah. is there. They know that Roshan's being done. They draw a beeline on the map from their base to Roshan, but are they going to be in time? This time they've got Medallion and Invoker's there with the Alacrity, but here comes Empire. Well, let's see. There is no Echo Slam available for another 50 seconds. FN just jumps in there for a bit. Gosek does get a nice... Uh, He's only got one Remnant now on FN. He ended up having to expend two there. Ooh! Rezo, be careful there. Oh, he goes for GH, actually. In the meantime, the Jewel, that is Kuroki down as well. That is too dead on the side of Liquid. They do get the Ages, though. Mind Control getting chased down by Roger, but Roger himself getting taken down by Matuma Man. Unstoppable for him. Tornado Miracle back in this fight. He's got that Ages. He's feeling confident, and he goes for FN. That was his final remnant. Is there an escape for him? Oh, nice deafening blast. blast up on three. The perfect angle for Miracle. Double kill from Atuma Man. And Miposhka, he's just trying to run an iron, but he's just a pure, poor little old lich. This is what we're talking about. Woo. It's the invoker, you know. It's oh, hello, Rezo. He does not, he's dead. Yeah, he's Regardless dead. of him getting a kill. There's no shrine. He's like, oh god. Oh, where's he going? What's he doing? And what? Team wipe. Full five-man wipe, and they keep themselves the Aegis. 
Whoo, that is a massive turn of events in favor of Liquid. And they can take the tier 2 tower off of the back of this. And maybe, I mean, there's 30 seconds without the Ember Spirit. They can try to see if they can do something more. And they are. They can threaten a little bit. They can maybe get like a poke of damage, but they don't want to overextend here. Echo Slam is still online. That is the issue that happened for Empire in that last the engagement. Ages still as well. Yeah. The Miracle just wants to have this tower. They want to. Maybe get some action in on the shrines as well. Ah, fortification. They want the yeah, fortification. They got the glyph baited. That's good. That's something. Okay. the house. But that that fight just put them uh, put them ahead. Ooh, wow. Yeah. The port. It's it's really about the initiation again. Like the legion commander was able to find Kuro, but it was a little bit delayed because he got the hex off. But yeah. then Roger was never able to get an echo slam off. There was no big situation that he could because of how split liquid was. And, and, he, and it was on cooldown at the start out. as well. Yeah, it was still on cooldown at the start. Yeah, big window there. Big win there for Liquid, and now it's level 22 on Invoker. So, you know, he's getting closer and closer to that level 25. And as we know, Miracle always goes for the flashy AOE deafening blast, and never takes the tornado cooldown. Yep, and he's um, he's very capable of 1v5ing enemy teams. As we've times, seen, as we've seen indeed in the past. Yeah. So, as he, when he's doing good, Liquid's doing good, no matter how the rest of the team is doing. And the rest of the team isn't even doing that bad. No, they're doing fine. I mean, Venomancer. Man, my control is pretty much a sacrificial lamb, but he's still getting a little bit of farm. Now Solar Crest and Blade Mail, much more durable. And he's level 18 because of that experience gained talent. So it's not like he's he's falling behind us, this Venomancer. Yep. Um, Atuba Man, obviously, very fat as well with the yeah. Shiva's Guard, sitting second in net worth and, and sitting 9 for 2 for 8. He's uh, doing yeah. really well for himself. They're really massing up the armor on uh, Matu, having 31 now already. He's a tough cookie to kill. Yeah. There is, of course, some minus armor coming out from uh, Empire as well with that Weasel, but that's really matter. They're, they're pressuring high ground again. They're going to force the rest back. We have Rezo as well as, uh, as Earthshaker just trying to pressure the Tier 2 tower but uh, on the on the mid lane. But they're they going to have to teleport. There you go. That's Weaver coming. Earthshaker is on his way as well. The rest is here. But the Tier 3 tower is already dead. Can they take this fight? Matuma Mani standing there in the front. Again, we just said how difficult he is to kill, so he's taking cool... Uh, Abuse of the fact that he, he very much knows that he is the tank. Right Venom wards, shaman wards, four spirits. Uh oh. So uh, uh, that's that's a dead lich. Kaboom. Range racks taken out, melee racks soon to fall. Ooh. Liquid are doing it. Rogers this way. <laughs> they, I mean that was Rex. What they they can't fight that. They can't fight into this the Aegis. It's too terrifying. If they because I guess if they lost the fight, they would have lost the game. Yeah. And now they only lost one lane of racks, and that is Still you know, pretty crippling. It's, yeah, it's crippling, but at least you live, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least you survive. For now. Because, I mean, this is very scary. Yeah, it's it's looking uh, starting to look very grim now for Empire at this point. It's peak time. Oh, FN. Does he really want to try this here? Because Miracle does. Miracle ain't scared of that. Nope. He even puts... Ooh, Miracle actually puts the Tome in his quick buy. He wants to be able to get that level 25 ASAP. He's very close. Oh, they found Ghostic. No, you can't teleport out. Oh, no. oh he can't. Oh, jeez. He could have. Perhaps Ghostic. He has Got a blink, blink available in two, a second. One. He can blink away. Does people GH blink after him? On the prowl. Him? Yep. Crush. Boom. Got him. Do they have any other catch? As well. No other no, catch. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> no one else has a four staff or anything. It's hey, and Kuroki huge. is not going for a blink dagger, as you yeah. very often see. He's going for Axe straight away. I yeah, might as well this game. They don't really need that. They don't need him to be that blink initiator, just having Tippy tank here. And the Shadow Shaman Axe is pretty absurd. That split shopping it with the Sea Drax. It's really good. Line being drawn by Liquid. They want to be able to take out this bottom tower and bottom racks. They still have the Aegis for another 10 seconds. Yeah. So Aegis will be reclaimed very shortly. But look at Roger. He's ready for this. He's in he is oh. positioned in Shadow Amulet. He is positioned for the Echo Slam of his life. Yeah, defending this tier 2 is still very dubious. But there's no ages anymore, just got reclaimed. Yeah. If there was any chance to defend this tier 2, this is it. But he needs his team though, he can't just do this solo. Oh! Uh -oh. They should have seen the Death Balls perhaps flying. The creeps were there though, the creeps were there, I they can see it perfectly. It's true, it's true, it's true. He's just saying, he's holding his ground. Dire okay. Courier died. Did you see where that was? Do you have a Courier Hotkey? Because my Courier Hotkey has not been working. I, this is not my account, so I don't know the Courier Hotkey. What's G -G. the default one? Is I don't know. It's not working anyway. Mine doesn't work on this. I don't know what the default is. I'm just very curious oh, well. to see if Roger can make the play of his life here. He needs his team to be there too. Oh, there's, look at look how at my Yeah, look at Liquid's positioning. There's, there's no. They only need to post Matu on the high ground with those wards. They don't need to. And now the Alacrity Catapult. 
the lag of the catapult. Look how much it actually does That's to the melee dead. racks. Ooh, not a dead list just yet. 200 damage per hit on the racks. Yeah. Racks dead. Right dead. Razzo trying to do for some split oh, push he here. He comes in. Oh, he actually goes in. Yeah, but uh, he doesn't. Like his team is not really there, and he's he's very dead. Been <laughs> coming in, but it doesn't matter. But two more bombs to kill, and maybe without Earthshaker, without Epicenter. I mean, that was a little bit of a questionable play. Whoops! Uh, there is a Lich that is sunstruck and dies. Oh, yeah, and you, the panic is real. They're unable to do anything. They really just can't fight into all the sustain yep. that Liquid has now at this point, and. It's just Necro posting himself on the hill, and they cannot kill this Necro because there's just too much follow-up Liquid can have. They can't even contest him. He just stands there with the Shadow Shaman Wards. Yeah. And, and, I mean, that, that Echo Slam, I think Roger knew that there was nothing going to be done off the back of that, but he was just pressured to do it, I guess. He just felt like he needs to do something. Unfortunately, uh, not Ghost the right Ghostic BKB play. gets the duel, but Ghost Shroud yeah. gets off before the duel actually happens. And that means that Ghostic uh, will not get the duel. He will live, however, for the moment. Meteor falling down. Up on Ghostic. Rezo goes for Mere Invoker as well, but he got the Yules off. Alive for the moment. Shackle for the moment. He has not Miracle. gotten ages. He dies. Dead for 100 seconds. Still, Resolution dies for that in return, though, as Batuma Man gets the Reaper Scythe off. He has buyback available. They got a backup and reset. Yeah. Without, uh, respawn. without Miracle, they... Uh, I wouldn't say they're hopeless, because they're not. And they actually, they don't care that they don't have Miracle. They oh, go they back in. They go for this Lich, right here. Lich in trouble, Lich a very dead. Wards gets placed again. Kuroki has got the Aghanim Scepter, so these things hurt. Hurt like a truck. And yeah, then the split shot. Oh, wow, they're actually able to still completely commit still. Yeah, this is three dead on the side of Empire. GH might have died. Up. There's a jewel, but it's a very tanky Venomancer, and the wards are there, so that is extra damage for mind control. This, this is not looking good for Empire. It was for this game. It took, looked so long like this game was even. It's one fight to turn it all around. One fight where Miracle is basically being Miracle on his Invoker. Uh, yeah, it took them a bit, but it took them a bit. Yeah, as soon as they start getting more and more of their levels online, and Roger wasn't really able to find good initiations at all this game with the Earthshaker. He yeah. was, he's 1-11, he got really shut down this game, just unable to find the opportunities. GG's called. Yep. That means that uh, Liquid goes into the final day. They have one more match to go. They are 11-3. and three. They have to play against Secret last. So yeah, and Secret looked pretty good today. They definitely improved. They had a little bit of rough first two days, but... Liquid overall in this game, in this series, actually, definitely outplaying Empire overall. I think this draft was a little bit closer, mm -hmm. for sure, but the decision-making from Liquid overall was definitely a bit stronger, and the way that they could five-man with this draft made it so Empire could, just couldn't get into the fights at all. And uh, Empire is six and... Ten? Ten? Yeah. They're done? That's 16. That's all their games. That's all their games. They're not having any games tomorrow. Yep. All right. And uh, that's going to be lower bracket. But at least they are not eliminated. Yeah, at least they're not eliminated. They're using, I mean, like we said, standing. They're using Rezo. Yeah, could be worse. Uh, definitely with the standing. So, uh, and, and if we saw the line that they took from the from the first day of group stages to here, they look a lot better. So yeah, they improved they a lot. Event. And they learned a lot, I think, already throughout this tournament. Learning about new heroes, trying out different drafts. Yeah. So we'll see how they look on at the main event. I'm pretty excited to see how they do. I think they're going to struggle, but... Depends on who they're matched up against. Indeed. Um, for the, To know that, uh, we just have to wait and see. But more matches coming uh, to you tomorrow. There actually might still be matches going on on the mainstream, so go check that out. That is Dota 2 TI. And otherwise, uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Dota 2. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.